Well, here we are at Butterfly Central at Springhouse Gardens. We're going to show you how to uh, attract butterflies in a very easy and very inexpensive way. You just need some common ingredients that most of us have sitting around our kitchen. Uh, a little bit of mol molasses. This one is called Robust Molasses. So pour that here into your container. We are making what we're calling a butterfly elixir. Maybe a little bit of sugar. We're going to make it a little bit even more sweeter. You got a little stale beer, pour a little bit of beer in here. These butterflies really like beer. And a little bit of special water. Doesn't have to be special water, any kind of water. And the piece de resistance is some overripe bananas. They don't look very good, but they're fine. These are just, you know, all of us always are guilty of having bananas that go a little bad. They go bad on you so fast. So, anytime you have any and you don't feel like making a butterfly mixture, you can put them in your freezer. These have been frozen and then re, um, and then just thawed out. But you just put that all in here and then just mash it together, mix it up. I've read different recipes where you can actually cook this and make a syrup out of it, but um, I've had really good luck just mashing it up and mixing, mixing it up. Um, butterflies are going to go crazy over this. Um, we've been having a fun time this uh, September, putting it on our trees and things, and getting all kinds of different butterfly species. Uh, here at Springhouse, we are doing all sorts of uh, butterfly projects. We've been raising butterflies from caterpillars and stuff. So this is a new thing that we've tried. Never have done this before, but it is very successful. So now we've got this kind of soupy mixture. Um, you can either add more water or more bananas um, for whatever. I think I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. There's a good banana, not quite so brown. Mix it all together um, and then just take a paintbrush. I mean, that's how I decided to do it and slap it on our wherever you want to put it, on a tree, on a feeder, uh, on an old tree stump, anywhere. And we'll show you how you do that and what the results are here in just a few minutes. So. Uh, just do that. Um, I even leave this unrefrigerated to let it ferment a little bit and you can use this for a couple of weeks. Um, after it gets kind of ripe, uh, you might want to store it in your refrigerator so it doesn't get too bad. But um, We'll go out here and show you what to do with it. Well, these butterflies have been on this tree now for about four days. Uh, we applied some of the butterfly elixir uh, four days ago and now you can't even tell where any of it is on the bark of the tree. I like to use these uh, rough barked trees just because it kind of hides and holds on to the mixture better. Uh, I think these butterflies are going to be a little more excited um, after I put some more on there because I don't even see what they're they're tasting on there but we're going to add a little bit more. Watch out butterfly. We're just going to put some of this stuff on and get some of those bananas in there because I think that's what's lasting a good long while. It's a little messy here, but look at these guys. They are not even wanting to leave because they know they've got it good. I was worried when we first started doing this that it was going to discolor the um, trunks of the trees for a long period of time, but you can see lasted about three or four days and then you don't even know that there was anything on here. And I've tried it on the sunny side of the trees and on the shady side of the trees. It seems like they like it. Since butterflies are, um, you know, need that sun in order to get their, their fluids pumping, they really do tend to congregate more on the sunny side. But you can put this anywhere that's convenient and I think the more that it sits here the more butterflies you get. It's a little easier to put it here when the butterflies aren't flying around. 